In the last video, you learned how to insert named anchors onto your web page or learning object. This meant that you would select a uh, subtitle or section of your document, insert an anchor in front of it, and then in return you would go up to the nav bar and create a hyperlink to that particular anchor. And so as a result, if we preview this in a web browser, let's preview it in Firefox. Thank you for reminding us to save it first. If we preview this in Firefox, we can click on any of these links over here in our nav bar, logo replacement, and we jump to that portion of the web page. And we can even jump all the way to the bottom of the web page to backgrounds, and there we are with backgrounds. Now, as you noticed, as we did that, we had to use the scroll bar on the right to get back to the top. That's okay if your learning object is a, a screen and a half, two screens long, but any longer than that, and users will prefer a back to the top button. And so what this video does is show you how to create a back to the top button. The first thing you want to do is to define the top of the document. To define the top of the document, you simply select the title, which will be the uh, largest type uh, in your document, and that is the top of the page. You could also select uh, the header area if you wanted to designate that as your anchor. It really doesn't matter as long as the anchor will uh, take the screen back to the top of the page. So we follow our usual process here of insert named anchor and our anchor name here is going to be top we click OK and now we have to point something to that top so let's go down to each of our sections and below each of the sections we're going to type in something called back to top or uh, some people pr prefer simply calling it top we're going to insert that uh, hyperlink in it and the text is top and the link is top and we click OK and clicking on that should take us back to the top. Let's put in a couple more to make sure we're doing it correctly. You simply type in top, highlight it, insert, hyperlink, that we've already got our text typed in, we choose the top relative link. That's what that hashtag means. It means it's a relative link within the document. Uh, Internet Explorer conditional comments, create a space. Had to hit it twice there to get out of the numbered list portion. Uh, highlight it, insert, hyperlink, top, and we choose our place or our relative link, top and let's do one more. Type in top, highlight it, insert hyperlink, the text is already in, and we choose our relative link, top. Now, when we preview it in a browser, thank you for reminding us to save the changes, we can jump down to uh, conditional comments, and then we can also click on the top button that will take us back up to the top of the page. Uh, backgrounds, we can go all the way to the bottom of the page, click on top, takes us back to the top of the page. As you can see by selecting uh, title of page as my top, uh, it does not reshow the header. If I, if I wanted it to uh, reshow the header, uh, I would simply select the header as my, as my top. Okay, everyone, I hope that helps you put in your back to top links, which is a requirement for this particular learning object, that you have named anchors and that you also have a back to top link in order to, after using those anchors, send your user back to the top of the page.